Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we are on Mac, we do Mac, Windows and iOS tutorials. Today we're doing Mac and I am going to show you a fantastic new program that allows you to bring in multiple SVGs at once. So as we know with Design Space you can only bring in one SVG at a time. In fact you can only bring in one JPEG PNG SVG at a time. With this new third party program, you can bring in multiple SVGs. Now it does only work with SVGs, but that's still better than nothing if you ask me. Now it is a third party program. It does cost. I think the cost is well worth it, but we'll go through all that in a second. But it's separate to Design Space. It works alongside Design Space. It's not um, supported or advertised or affiliated with Cricut. It's completely separate. It's a completely separate company. Um, I don't know if Cricut are like, yay, this is amazing. Or they're like, no, we don't like this. Uh, but the way I look at it is it's working with your computer. It's not doing anything to design space. It's not, um, it's not touching design space. You put it on your computer, it merges your files, and then you can bring those into Design Space at once. So it's actually not working with Design Space, it's working to make your life a wee bit easier. It has its pros and its cons, and I, one of the things that I do like about Design Space is that you bring in one SVG at a time. And it does actually stop you from bringing in unnecessary files. So for example, you could download a file and it has an SVG folder in it and it might have 100 SVGs. Nine times out of 10, you don't need those 100. You may only need 20 of them, but you need to then sit and upload those 20. And the SVG merge allows you to bring those 20 in. Like I wouldn't, I really wouldn't advise people to just go in and bring like a thousand SVGs in because you can. Like uh, keep your SVGs that you're bringing in to those that you need because you just end up clogging up your uploaded images and then it takes you forever to find things. So you only want to be bringing in images that you're going to use but sometimes you may find that you want to use sort of 30 or 40 images from one set and this is going to make your life easier. So I am on SVG Tools which is a sister, daughter, brother, baby, I don't know. It's some sort of relation, you know, distant immediate next to kin, I don't know, some sort of relation to Dreaming Tree. Everyone knows that I love Dreaming Tree and I'm a huge fan of Leo. Everybody loves Leo. Don't tell Bill, but I love Leo. Everybody loves Leo. Dreaming Tree is a fantastic site and they have, I don't think they've created it, but they've worked with the company and they're kind of like put in their their weight or their I don't know their what's the word their endorsement behind the SVG merch so the SVG merge is currently $14.99 and at full price it's $19.99 which I still think is really really reasonable it's available on Windows and Mac and each purchase allows you two computers or two downloads. So one is going on my Mac and one is going on my Windows, which is really handy because then I can show you it for Mac and then for Windows. So I'm obviously going to add it to my basket, pay for it and then download it and then install it. And to install on Mac is really easy. You're just going to double click it and it'll come up saying install and you click install. Installing is super, super easy. 
Once it's installed, this is what it looks like. So it's SVG merge and you have the option to add files or folders. Now I select files because as I say, with a folder, there could be 200, 300 SVG images in there. You're not gonna need to bring all those in. So I choose add file because then I can select the files that I'm going to merge. So I'm gonna click add file and I'm then gonna select my downloads I'm going to select this Jubilee file and I'm going to go to SVG. And as I say, if I try and bring in PNG or JPEG, it won't let me. It will only allow me to merge SVGs. I can then go through. Oh, I don't think we're allowed that. And I can select the images and I'm not selecting the queen. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to use an image of the queen, like you can end up in the tower, like that is, uh, what's that word? Treason. It's treason, I'm sure it's treason. It's probably not, I'm probably making this all up and I'm not gonna end up in the tower, but I do not want to end up in the tower and I do not want to be treasoned. So I'm gonna skip the first image and I'm gonna hold down my shift key and then I'm just going to go through and select all of the other images. I might as well just bring them all in because I will use them. And I'm just going to use my arrow key to select them. And I've then selected 25 items. So I am going to merge 25 SVGs. So I can select open. And they're going to come into SVG merge like so. I'm going to make sure that design space compatible is ticked and then I'm going to select export all. So this is going to merge them all into one file. So export all. I'm going to change the name to Jubilee, very original. And I'm just going to change the where to documents so that I can find it easily and then save. And this is going to merge them super quick. And then OK. And if we go to my documents, you can actually see it's in there. So if we go back into design space, we'll just get rid of these little beauties. And we go to upload. And upload image. Just to show you the difference, if I go to browse, I go to downloads and I select that file SVG as we know I can only bring in one at a time so I can bring this SVG in but then I have to bring all the others in one at a time with the merge if I go to upload image browse I go to documents and I select that Jubilee file I can choose open and it's going to bring in all of those merged images because it's an SVG, it will come straight as a cut image. I can give, well, the image name is Jubilee, and then I'm going to give it a tag. And again, I'm going to be really, really original here and tag it as Jubilee. And then upload. Those are now uploaded. So anytime I want to use any of those images, I can go to my uploads, find this upload, and select add to canvas. I have to make sure the lock is on and for some reason recently they've been coming in with the lock unlocked and we always want it locked if we're gonna resize them. And they do tend to come in quite large. So I can just resize them all and then I'm going to ungroup. And when I ungroup it, I can then select the images that I want to use for that particular day. So I don't want that one, I can delete it. We might delete that one, we're gonna keep that one. We can get rid of that one. And there we go, that is SVG Merge for Mac. Absolutely fantastic. As I say, it's a third party program, but the way I look at it is it's not actually working 
with Design Space. It's not doing anything to Design Space. It's a third party program on your computer that allows you to merge files and then you can bring them into Design Space as one. Now, what I will say is that it doesn't, when you use the SVG merge, it doesn't keep the names of the files, which is fine if they're individual like this, but if they're part of a build, like a 3D build, you quite often rely on each of the elements having their specific name. So for example, it might be red layer one or green layer two or you know, purple roof, whatever, whatever the label could be. When you merge them, they lose those names. So that is the only issue for me is if you're doing something like a 3D build and you rely upon the names of each of the layers to help you know what each of the elements are, then the SVG merge kind of knocks that out and could make life a little bit more difficult for you. But in terms of images like these, you don't need to know the names. I mean, it's the, the image is the image. So it's fantastic. Hopefully this has been really helpful. If you've got any comments or questions, obviously during the live premiere of this, I am in the live chat. So if you're here for the premiere, which is uh, Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays at 7pm, you can live chat with me. If you're watching later, then leave a question in the comments below and I will get back to you. Let me know if you are excited by this, if it's not something you're going to use, but it's something you can appreciate. Like, let me know where you stand on this, because I think it's well worth the money. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell and give the video a thumbs up. It's free and it really helps me. So thank you, because I really, really do appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.